do it every day, we be grinding And if you ask me, we the best, I'ma be like Yo, that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the radio This is how we do every day, we be grinding And if you wanna come and test us, I'ma be like Yo, that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the radio When I'm spitting all these What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the 10 Yard Fight. This is volume 18 part 3. Philly Bunch special featuring the Gun Bunch offset. Today we're down by 17. <laughs> Here are your audibles. Spacing switches mentioned previously is your main play. It opens up the double post and the Z spot and go. The smash return, dig return, speed dig, verts, halfback under, and bench pivot are plays you should center around it. It's just to set everything up. Um, you're not going to run all of these plays on every user. Okay? That's why I'm doing like nine parts of this. This is part three. And we'll probably go back to like part nine. You're going to see different things versus different looks. That's obvious, you know, that's part of scheming. That's part of X's and O's, right? So as you can see, I'm down by 17. Shot myself in the foot early. Matter of fact. Wow, look at that. I hate seeing that. Every time I look at that, I hate seeing that. As a matter of fact, this is my second time ever playing in this scheme right here. This was my second time ever. You see, we are here trying to orchestrate the Z spot and go down by 17 man so you know the it, it's a new scheme the timing was wrong this is a different user versus the last user um he had the washington redskins that was my first time ever doing it so this is my second time and i'm always mentioning the automatics so you guys know this is a 10 yard fight so you know your boy gonna not gonna get out here and try to just move the chains not just trying to go for the big play you know plays like that just get 10 yards keep it moving and keep it grooving right comeback route and the curl route they both have different timing as you can see i just threw one of each on the last two plays to my lone receiver over there because the coverage right i'm always checking for the coverage over there on that left side look at this right here this is a prime example of what we want to talk about today when you do that Z spot and go and you send that guy to the corner, you got to be mindful. Well, shoot, forget just that play. Most of the plays in the bunch that's going out, so you, these three guys are crumbled up. So you got to be ready. And any given down, they can run into each other like self-destruction. That was a good run right there. That was an option. Nice little read option. We read the read, man. That was the right look, right? So if you got to be ready for the look like we couldn't go to the automatic on the curl route that time but the defensive line gave us the look to run the read option right so yeah this is when i was trying to like i was still in the lab and trying to perfect things i ain't even gonna say perfect things just trying to figure things out you know just see if we can get some stuff get by five plays going you know five nice little hitters and the z spot was heavily used in this game right here because i was trying to see what was what as you can see on the left side that looked like it's an automatic streak no sir it's gonna be like that sometime it was a bad move i only did it because it's press so press doesn't automatically get you a streak you just get a high percentage chance see how them guys got bumped up right there let's go back and look at that see i'm running the z spot and go and you see circle and r1 getting bumped this can cause an interception Oh yeah, now you see how I'm down by 17 and I threw two picks right here because of that right there. So be mindful of that. Be cautious, be weary, be ready for that. Because you can have a wide open play and two guys will run into each other and just knock off all the timing and rhythm of the play. See, that was a nice pass right there. I tried it again. I think I attempted that play three times in a row. But, you know, Coach K don't really do that. I was just in the lab at this time. This was my second time ever playing in it. So yeah, I got my field goal. Um, people will look at these next couple of videos because they're going to be high scoring affairs. And they will say, this man ain't got no defense. Okay. Well, I'm in the lab. And first of all, this is the bunch. So this is a spread set. 
So it's going to be lots of big plays and short drives. And you're going to give the other team lots of possessions. So the score is going to be kind of high, right? Space and switch is a perfect zone beater. As you can look at the colors and then look at the play arc on my side. They're just getting in the gap, getting in the passing windows and just sitting somewhere. Look at your automatic on the left side over there. Five and out. Can't get it. Out of bounds. So, you know, Coach KK really don't go for fourth downs like that. When I do, that means something. That means I saw a read. And if I didn't like the read, I would have called timeout and punted. And you go right there. I had, this time I had to click on and catch my own pass and flatten out the route. Because you know the first time he was out of bounds because I let the CPU do it. This time I clicked on way early, as you can see. And I came back to the ball and flattened out the route. So, yeah, those are small techniques that you got to do. You know, some people got those mechanics. Some of us don't. Here we go. Automatic to the left side. Nice. One-on-one -on -one coverage with no lurking underneath defenders. With no underneath lurking defenders. You know, projected. Like this play right here, you don't know if the linebackers are going to go to the left. So, we wouldn't even bother the left side. Our first choice is looking at the right side of the field. Z spot and go. Look at that flat route wide open. Look at X. Wide open on the flat. So, and then look at our one on the high low read. Hmm beautiful so yeah as you can see we're making the adjustments um z spot and go is a man and zone beater and you just gotta read the keys you know you gotta read everything like I'm, you gotta do a process of elimination do i have a good gap in the run game is it a good opportunity to run and just try to get three or four yards check your automatic side or you know what about the cushion do you got lurking underneath defenders or is it just clear and then you go look at the concept side so yeah that's how i do this thing the run game is always first even though i pass more out of this the run game always you know all i'm you know you got to stay loyal to the run game yeah i'll put it like that when you're down by 17 it's a different story so right now this is just one possession so here you go right here space and switch right notice it's kind of hard to do it right here because we're limited in space and that was a poor throw by Gino yeah he, he suffered with accuracy issues yeah we we, we suffer sometimes like this especially trying to do exotic passing like the low ball and the high ball and he would throw that thing out this park <laughs> for real for real so yeah we tried space and switching again this is one of the main concepts I do right here on the goal line tried it again it didn't work we knew he was in some kind of zone play and they just got on the ball you know so we took a L right there we knew it was a zone which is perfect call but we're limited in space and, and then his guys are so close to each other so they were ready for that so now we're calling another concept this is one of my other concepts I call on the red zone gotta step in the pocket and it have to be well timed to throw through these windows that's mesh you know it also can be done in man to man but this is zone we're just expecting the two guys in the middle to be in hook zones and back up and i'm trying to throw this ball as soon as my guy pass him but in between the cloud flat corner which is the cover two part of it that's usually the only time when users on defense try to run the cover two when they're in the red zone they try to keep those cloud flat corners down low because it makes no sense to be in a deep third and deep fourth right makes no sense to be in cover four so yeah you got to expect cover two and matter of fact i was ju i just knew he was doing cover two so i had to have the right timing right past the hook zones right before the cloud flatted defenders on the corner so yeah as you can see right here i got 17 he ended up getting seven so right now we are on a 17 to 7 scoring run. So yeah. Got yeah, you know the momentum is his way still, but we're in this game. And when you're playing sometime I like to play with that momentum meter up there. You know, let's get some easy completions, get back in the game, get back in the rhythm. 
I think EA is very fair with the momentum meter. You know, I think they're very fair with it. And it's like the closest you can get, especially like a stadium like this, the 12th man. So, yeah. Um, he just happened to have the momentum. Right here, I'm doing double posts. As you can see, we got the running back coming out the backfield. We got the flat route on the side. And the hook zones backed up. So, with double posts, this is pretty much a high-low read. You're reading the two guys up top and the guy down low. And it's just a high-low read to me. Um, this is not always designed for the two guys doing the post routes. Yeah, I sometimes this is just an automatic check down to me. As I said before, this is like an extension to the run game. Anytime you send that running back out on a like a little out route, yeah, that's like an extension to the run game. So yeah, because we're gonna be passing more than running in this scheme right here because we don't have that many running concepts. So that was a nice try by me. I tried one then. Just trying not to force this thing. And I do really want to get this touchdown and score the, you know, and tie the game up. Finally got the first down on the mesh. I had to slow things down. Um, guys, hit that like button for me. I really appreciate it. That helps me unlock features on the channel, on the station. And we can bring cool stuff to the videos. Yeah, man. Hit that like button for me. There we go. Got him. Finally connected with the Z spot and go. Finally. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I call scheming. So, we kind of lured this guy into cover too. You know, he was thinking everything was going to be safe and short. And he, he had no choice but to be in cover too. And as you can see, the two safeties are occupied by the deep routes out there. And this always come through late. What makes it so significant is it's like circle is a double move so it gives the safeties time to spread out and that's how you get straight down the middle a lot of users like to take the middle linebacker and put him in the deep third but i wasn't really giving him any reason to you know needing to do that or you could say i was going so short that he couldn't afford to send the linebacker back there in the deep third you know he had to keep him so as you can see i'm on a 24 to 7 scoring run this is nice picked off 45 seconds left as you can see right here my two interceptions versus his one interception he can potentially lose this game from his one interception and we cleaned up our mistakes way early from the two interceptions we threw in the first quarter we cleaned up so but he could potentially lose this game from his one mistake so yeah this isn't always gonna be pretty but, you know, what matters the most is the W. Nice little pump fade. I, oh, we got him again. I had him again. He ain't making no type of adjustments, as you can see. So, I'm kind of forcing Z-Spot and go. I hope you guys don't do that. I'm just labbing. You're going to have to do that to, in order to lab, though, you know, to learn how to run the play. But I'm still involved in this game. I'm just not going to call Z-Spot and go every single down. But we finally got him. We got him. It's official, baby. <laughs> We in the lead. Like I said earlier, the cover two is going to have those two safeties going deep halves. And we got deep receivers on both outsides, right? And he's in drop zones too on the flats. But Circle is going to run a deep, late middle route. And the safeties are too occupied outside the numbers by now. So they're going to come in, but they're going to be late. So you got a big passing window. All you got to do is hang in the passing window and just don't get sacked. You know, you got to get some pocket presence. I repeat, don't run this play over and over and over. Um, I was just testing this out in the lab. And as you can see, I'm on a 31-7 scoring run. This was hella fun. Anyway, guys, I got to get out of here. That's it. We win. Asalaamu Alaikum. Game over. <laughs>